that you're going to be working with a talented cast and like mm -hmm. an amazing director and you know uh dp and people who do this then you know it's going to be that's going to add to it sometimes yeah. there's just a script that has like this crazy like uh spin on the ending or you know something just like that blows your mind yeah. but then sometimes it's just like a simple script you know what i mean and um and it's just like in the execution and the way that it's shot if it's shot beautifully if it's you know if the talent is really engaged with each other that's really what makes it so it, there's so much more of it is you know in how people make the script come to life yeah all right, you don't got to name names, but have you ever received, like, just a god-awful script? He's like, yo, I want to be caught dead doing this role. Yes. <laughs> yes. I want to give you uh, specifics, but I don't know if you're going to let me show your hand or whatever. <laughs> Only one, though. <laughs> Only one? Oh, all right, that's yeah. not too bad. <laughs> so, um, so I hear you're modeling. You know, you, uh, you, you've done, you know, work with uh, L'Oreal. You know, you look like you fresh on the runway right now. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> no, you know, I'm just like cozy right now in my little fit. Uh, you, you, know? you cozy runway right now. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but talk about the experience being a model, you know, and dealing with L'Oreal and other, you know, oh, situations I you have. I love modeling. I love modeling. Um, it is kind of like a segue into acting because you do have to embody so many different, like certain different characters, you know, yeah. and I love modeling because you, you represent a brand and, um, you know, it's just, you get to express yourself. And I just, I'm very creative. I love anything creative. I love drawing, painting, creating, you know, graphics, all that kind of stuff. So when I can use my body and my face to be able to help with that visual, then it's just, yeah. it's amazing. And then in the end, like you learn, you meet so many different people every, every day is something totally different. You know, every set is different. So you meet, you meet a new group of like cool people all the time. Mm. and that's who you connect with and you know I just love it I love I love what I do um I've modeled for you know like you said L'Oreal and the crazy thing is this like I when I first got to New York in January I just kept thinking L'Oreal L'Oreal and I don't know why I just kept thinking L'Oreal mm. and then boom like I booked this L'Oreal job somebody can't and I was just like wow this stuff manifestation really manifestation like, there you really, go really, really, yeah. right yeah Right. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's and something brilliant. else crazy happened today as far as that. Like I um I invited like somebody from the actual L'Oreal shoot uh mm -hmm. to the to the screening of this film. And like 20 minutes after I did that, I got an audition for a L'Oreal Paris uh spot, like another ad today. Dang. I was just like wow. Light work, light work. Uh, yes, it's yeah. crazy. I'm like, whatever you think about so, really does come to life. <laughs> yeah, so um, you know, I Everything got their own stereotype. So the whole model modeling stigma is like, you know, it's stuck up, you know, mm -hmm. you got to deal with a whole bunch. Of, and, and then you being a woman of color, like what are some of the challenges you've dealt with being in the model realm? Um, some of the, I feel like people are who they are. And, you know, if you're genuine, I think it just kind of shines through. And even mm -hmm. when you, when you are at a casting and you're, you're auditioning for something. And right now everything's on Zoom or everything's like by video, yeah. you record it. But like before it wasn't, you would actually go and meet people and meet all the casting people and the production people. And they kind of like go by not just your looks, they go by like, do I like this person? Am I gonna wanna spend an entire day with this person? So it's like yeah. a lot of personality that has to go behind that. Mm -hmm. So um, so it's not just about, you know, it's not just about, your looks or whatever it's it's about that as well as like your personality and if you could like book the room you know what I mean as far as so I don't really worry about to answer your question I don't really worry about like stereotypes or what people think how people think yeah. I'm gonna be yeah. I just am who I am and yeah. uh, you know if yeah. they like that they like that and you know if they don't they don't <laughs> yeah, so uh, <laughs> and I feel that so what was your like um your moment where you was like I'm on to something or I'm about to make it or I think I did make it moment. Do you have right now? Right now, now. Oh, not too now. They need to go. Yo, that's an yeah. I made it moment right here. You know? <laughs> yeah. Now we no, ain't that serious, just, but yo, all jokes aside, like when was it though? It had to be so. <laughs> no, I mean just at this moment, at this point, I'm really like this. Um, I've done a lot of different like films and TV stuff, and mm -hmm. uh, a lot of different modeling jobs from you know from everything from Lancome to Target to DSW to all these different things and yeah. you know hair boxes makeup you know clothing I was like the fit model for a whole bunch of different swimwear brands mm -hmm. and um you know that's been my career so it's been consistent you know by heart like by 
by nature, I'm an entrepreneur, right? I love like starting a business and like mm-hmm. doing, you know, my side hustle. Like I just love the entrepreneur thing. But, you know, out of all the endeavors that I've done as far as entrepreneurial, entrepreneurially, entrepreneurially. <laughs> Um, it sound like a word. Like, it, it sound like you could be a word. I don't know. I think it's a word. I don't know. We can add it. We can add it. <laughs> I might have made that up. I might have uh, made that up, but hey. we're going to add it to the dictionary. It sound about right, though. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but you get what I'm trying to say. Yeah. As far as being an entrepreneur, I, mm-hmm. the most success that I've ever had is in modeling and acting. That's the most money I've made. That's mm-hmm. the most, you know, when I just go and I just am myself and then I book it. It's been from this. So that's when you kind of know that like, you know, it's kind of like the path of least resistance, like Mm -hmm. whatever you don't have to fight so hard for or whatever just kind of like comes natural for you. That's when you kind of know like that's what it's meant. That's what it is. That's just like, that's what you're here for. That's like your calling. So I think that the more I just was like, okay, you know, I'm doing it. It's Mm -hmm. happening. I'm paying my bills. You know, I'm taking Mm -hmm. care of myself and, you know, I'm growing in this and the jobs are getting better. So I just, I went with it. I love doing it. So um, I just kind of know. I've always known. But I do feel like at this point, this is um, a breakthrough in, in my career where, you know, things are really going to grow, you know, after this film comes out. And I have a cu- couple other projects in the works. So, yep. um, yeah. Absolutely. Uh, so you mentioned endeavors outside of entertainment. You know, I know you say you're a businesswoman. Like, you know, what lane are you yeah. taking, you know, you know, as far as your business outside of entertainment? I have um I have an eyebrow studio called Highbrow Microblading and Scalp Micropigmentation. So um, highbrowofficial.com is my website or like Highbrow Official on Instagram. And basically I do eyebrow microblading. Um, I, like I said, I'm, a, I'm an artist, so I love to create. So I've always been kind of obsessed with like women's eyebrows. So I basically do like tattoos of women's eyebrows. Hey yo, cause like and you gotta explain, you gotta explain to us like us dudes over here, cause like I, I okay, like, oh, oh, like the microblading. I don't know what that is. Like yo, you gotta explain it. Matter of fact, there's a lot of women who could probably use. Uh, yeah, they can use my services. They need to go no. to my Instagram, and if they <laughs> click on my bio, like yo, I'm pouring on eyebrows. Okay, so- Oh my gosh, eyebrows are like probably the most important feature on the face. Mm. Even on men, you know, it's good when you have a nice strong set of eyebrows. Oh, let me and what I'm sorry, I'm sorry, let me stop you there. So, <laughs> like, are you endorsing men getting cuz I always thought like dudes getting their like eyebrows like trimmed up, yo. That kind of look no. a little no, I, mean, no, I mean, it's just crazy. as long as it looks natural. You know, some guys have like sparse eyebrows and they just want them to be thicker and stronger. And what I do is I just do tiny little tattoo hair strokes into the brow to make it look like you know, like they have more eyebrows than they do. So, it, you know, a lot more people do it than you think. Right. <laughs> you may not have to do it, but like... The way you word that you know, is so make it look like they got more eyebrows than they do. The way you word that. Yeah, stuff. and <laughs> hair. And hair. When guys are going bald on their scalp, I do uh, hairline tattooing too. Oh, so That's what the brothers need to hear. Pick their hairline, you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, I can help bring their hairline back. <laughs> yeah, but that's my, that's my business. I have a studio in Harlem that yeah. I, you know, I take clients by appointment where I do brows mm-hmm. and, and scalps. So, all right. So, um, you know, I'm gonna get my um Oprah question right now. Like, are there any downsides to the attention and the fame you've been receiving? The expansion, what? No, are there any downsides to like the fame or the attention you've been receiving since you've been active out here? Um, downsides. I think yeah. that you know, I'm in New York, and New Yorkers are just so real. And mm-hmm. and New York is kind of like you know, okay, so you did this and you did that. Like, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Everybody's like, kind of the same. <laughs> yeah, you know, everybody's just kind of the same. You know, we're all we're all in this, and we're all you know doing big. Things. So many of us are doing big things, and we just kind of like are there and congratulate each other. And that's just how I look at it. You know, I don't have any um any major stalkers <laughs> or anything like that. <laughs> um <laughs> to worry about at this point yeah. um but yeah no I, I you know I'm, I'm I'm good with everything right now and and the crazy thing is like because of COVID mm-hmm. everything's kind of different you know everything's online everything's just kind of like you know people are in their own spaces and creating things around their own spaces just even like this interview right now like maybe I don't know if you guys had interviews in the studio before oh, absolutely yeah. and I yeah, so like now everything's virtual, so it's kind of like people can't really stop you. <laughs> oh, yeah, like, like, that goes one of the questions I had for you. You know, it's like you know how the the present pandemic affected the way you know the film is doing and it just business in general. You know, outside of what you already said, is there anything additional that's more of a, you know? 
Oh my gosh. So yes, it's incredible. Okay. Number one, it's made us really, even though the pandemic has been very stressful for many of us, yeah. there are some, there are some things that made that got better, you know, mm-hmm. for example, uh, it opens up like everything is on zoom right now. Yeah. So basically I can audition for anything from LA, Chicago, New York. It's all the same. You don't run from to different casting offices for auditions. So it makes it more efficient. So like mm-hmm. a lot of times, like when I'm busy all day at night, I'll just bang out all my all my Zoom auditions. You know what I mean? Yeah. Well, not Zoom auditions, but like on tape auditions mm-hmm. and then send them in. So it makes it easier in a way as far as like just the industry where you can just do many things and be many places and just out of just by having your, you know, your light and your camera and you just set it up. So that makes yep. it easier. It made us really buckle down and say, okay, like, what is important? Like, you know, our families and our, um, the people who are in our circle. Mm-hmm. And it's not about how big things are anymore. It's just kind of like, I was just telling somebody yesterday that it's like, the cooler you are, like, the smaller your party is, like, the cooler you mm-hmm. are. Like, if you have a big yeah. party, it's just, like, not cool. Yeah. It's kind of like an a-hole if you're throwing a big party at this point. <laughs> so it changed things in that way. But as far as, like, shooting and the industry and, like, the acting industry, I thought it was just going to be like down for the count, but it's actually not. I just shot, um, <clears throat> excuse me, a Cadillac commercial. <clears throat> excuse me. Cadillac well, talk about that flex. Star. Yeah, word. Or flex on that. <laughs> you know what I mean? nah, look, <laughs> okay, just, another, on, just another commercial on deck. You know what I'm saying? Flex on that. <laughs> yeah, let me flex on that real quick. Uh, no. Um, yeah, so for that, and for every job that I've done since the pandemic, they just basically make you, I've had so many COVID tests. <laughs> and thank God, <laughs> knock on wood, I haven't, I haven't had it. Yeah. But um, although many people I know have, mm-hmm. um, they just adjust, you know, basically Hollywood has money. They can basically afford to have all these COVID tests whenever you need, or they send you to the center before, when you book. Okay. So basically everything's on video. And then yeah. once you book the job, they say, okay, you can only come on set with a negative COVID test. Mm. So you just know that around you, nobody really has COVID. And, and in addition to that, everybody, they have to wear the N95 mask. Yeah. unless you're you know shooting on camera at the time mm-hmm. or like getting your makeup done or unless you're eating and then on set they have like the, the six feet apart eating instead of like eating next to each other so everything's just kind of like adjusted for that and the craziest thing was shooting this movie i was like how are we gonna do this movie we had to get tested every three days we just had somebody come in and they would test all of us the cast the, the crew everybody every three Sounds days they came good. and like had the tent set up and just test everybody so they just Kept, and I was like, I asked them later, like, what would happen if somebody was actually positive, you know? <laughs> and so I asked this on the last day. Yeah, yeah I, I, I um, I asked it on the last day because I didn't want to jinx it. <laughs> <laughs> so they were like, we would have had to shut down the entire production. I'm like, wow. So crazy. Yeah. it's kind of crazy, you know? Hey, so let's talk about the cast. Like, the reason why we have you, I mean, not the, the sole reason why we have you here, but, you know, you have something going on for the holiday season, holiday heartbeat. Yes. Yeah. Let's talk about the cast. Heartbreak, like, you got- holiday heartbreak. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Yeah, the holiday heartbreak. Okay. And, um, you know, you have a star-studded cast. You know, talk about how, how it was working with them. And then just, like, you know, think about all the roles you had. Have you ever, ever been starstruck at all? You know, when you was kind of, like, fidgety and all shaking like a leaf or something, you know? <laughs> <laughs> yes, um, absolutely. So, first of all, holiday heartbreak. Mm-hmm. Oh, my gosh. So, like, Country Wayne. I know you know Country Wayne. Yeah. Lisa Ray, um, AJ, Y'all know Lisa Ray. Michael Collier, yep. whoever does know Lisa Ray is like lives on another planet. So, um, <laughs> so yeah, so, the, yeah, the cast is incredible. B Simone, I've you know, Tiffany Black, mm-hmm. I and Shanta. Listen, there are so many talented cast members. And yeah. when I got on set day one, I was like, yes, yes, the cast is so incredible. And that's what made it funnier. Like Wayne, Country Wayne, and also Kenneth Wayne. Mm-hmm. Um, he plays one of the male leads, Country Wayne and Kenneth Wade. They both play like um, my love interest in the film, if you yeah. may. And um, they're both just so incredible. And I learned so much. I learned so much from just watching the people around me. And it is, it's truly star-studded. It, there couldn't be a better cast. Um, and people are really going to love the film. And, yes. you know, we were on set cracking up. Like, we were on set, like, oh, my gosh. Like, yeah, yeah. like, watching the others perform. And I'm like, this is so funny. Yeah. So, because you just never know at first. You never know, mm-hmm. you know, how everything's going to mesh together. But then everything just meshed together so well. And um, I learned a lot just watching people on camera and also talking to people off camera mm-hmm. who have been in the industry for a while. And, um, yeah, it's going to be beautiful. 
Yeah. And I have, I mean, I don't really get starstruck like that because I just believe that we're all human. <laughs> I respect that. I respect but, that. Like, nah, nah, like, yo, nah, homie. All right, yo, me, all right. You've been so in life, but all right. You seem yeah. like me. So I feel you. Like <laughs> yeah, I don't really get starstruck. I mean, I've worked yeah. with, you know, a lot of, um, you know, really big actors. Yeah. And, um, and I don't really get starstruck. I got starstruck yeah. one time, like, around Denzel Washington. But that's a whole right. other story. Is that old Denzel? Yeah, like, yeah. yo, does old Denzel still kind of give the women the hots? Like, you know what I mean? Even though he's I, like... I, so, I mean, it's not like that, but it's just the level of respect. Like, you know okay. what I mean? <laughs> him being such a... um, Sorry, hold on. Him being such an incredible, um, yeah. incredible actor. And I remember yeah. I was so corny. I said, like, he said something to me and it. Like, just, you know, how are you doing or something? I was like, it smells like up dog in here. And he's like, what is up dog? And it I was worked. like, not so much. What's up with you, dog? And then I just ran. It was like a horrible joke. And... Hold on, hold on, hold on. So you try to throw like a, a corny point? Try... <laughs> <laughs> All right. That's how you move it? <laughs> hey. I, would say if, I would say that's the only time I was just like, I don't know what to say to this man. It's Denzel Washington. So, no, that's, um... hilarious. that's hilarious, guys. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I tried to yeah. throw. It was a horrible joke. But, um, <laughs> but other than that... <laughs> I think I haven't gotten starstruck. I just, you know, it's it's amazing to watch. I love to yeah. watch. Um, oh shoot, hold up, sorry. Now you all good? What's going on? I lost the video for a second. I love to watch these amazing actors work and just learn from them. You know. Yeah. yeah so I mean, we, all right, we talk about starstruck, but like, we can separate starstruck from inspiration. Like, do you have any inspiration? Yeah. Whether it's modeling or or acting, or you talk about both. Oh, yeah, I have inspiration every day from modeling from like, you know, the classics like, you know, Naomi Campbell and Tyra Banks to mm -hmm. just like newer models who are just, you know, you can just even scroll on Instagram and see like amazing uh, projects that they're doing and the way that they're creating. And I get inspiration all the time for like my own Instagram. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, I definitely um, am inspired that way. I love modeling, but then I love to go deeper, too. You know what I mean? To like have something that's going to have an impact or maybe have a message or something yeah. behind it or just like incredible visuals so mm -hmm. yeah but i get inspired every day i get inspired from i'm an artist so i get inspired by like these curtains right here i get inspired by <laughs> so yeah yeah absolutely um i was talking about your favorite role i know you have a favorite role and then we want to talk about your dream role as well oh yes my favorite role um oh my gosh there's so many because the thing is they're fit they're my favorites for different reasons. Mm -hmm. um, working yeah. on Law and Order SVU with Mariska Hargitay. America, that's oh big time God. America. Bye -bye. I mean, cut you off. That's big time America. She out here moving. Please believe. <laughs> <laughs> that was that yeah. was an incredible because I learned so much from Mariska. She directed the episode that I was on, and she mm -hmm. just took me to the side, and she gave me so much encouragement. She rooted me on. She told me what I needed to know about how to use my face, how to use my, how to use my voice. And she might have been one of the most impactful directors that I've ever worked with. And um, also the director of Holiday Heartbreak, Charles Jones, he really knew how to pull out the performance out of me. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, there's just, there've been so many roles that I, that I love for different reasons, you know? So it's yeah. hard to be like, oh, this was my favorite. Um, it's just so fun to play different characters to just like, yeah. you know, Act out all these different, you know, personalities and just yeah. it's just fun. Hey, I was I was an extra on a, um a mini series on ESPN, and I respect y'all. Yeah. I got new I, I got new respect for y'all. I had you to, like I, I, I was just an extra. I was just background, and I had to wear hey, Afro, listen. and I had to run you down the street three you times. You were a background performer. Oh okay. yeah, no, nah, no, nah, I stood out. But yeah, so yeah. It, was, it was like it was ESPN. Uh, the Bronx is burning, based on like New York in in seventy seven. Oh wow. And okay. yeah, I had I, so I had to wear like tight shorts, and I had to wear like a neon uh, Mitsubishi shirt. You have pictures. Do you have pictures of that. I do. I, I said to you, <laughs> I had to run down the street. I, I had to run down the street like twenty times. And like, yo, y'all spend so much time like on set. Like, what is that like? Just yeah, that's what I was getting that's, at. That's you know, I, I had to do a humble brag real quick, and then I had to, you know, what I mean, bring it back to you know just the the rigors of actually being an actress. Yeah, it is very, it is very rigorous. Yeah, it's, yeah. um, we have long days, long nights, 14, 16, 20 hour days. Um, and it, it's, but it's, it's for the love, you know, you do that for a while and then you take a break. You know what I mean? It's, you do that while you're shooting and you do like maybe 15 days of shooting or 20 days of shooting and then you rest for a little while, you know? Um, 
yeah, it, it's it's just it's part of it. But the the thing is, it's not all you know. It's a lot of hurry up and wait. Mm-hmm. You know, it's a lot of. I say you have like a fourteen hour day. Maybe only two hours of that is actual shooting. Yeah. For three hours, that is actual shooting. A lot of it is setting up for different shots. Mm -hmm. You know, they're setting up different shots. They're getting different angles. They're getting the medium shot, the wide shot, the close up shot. Mm -hmm. You know, then they got to turn the camera around and get your co stars, medium shot, close up, you know, full, you know, the whole the atmosphere. It's just so many different things that they have to get and they have to set up the lights and and the sound and, you know, microphones. And there's so many little aspects that people don't even know about unless you've even been on the set. Then you realize, okay, oh, this is what it takes to make a movie. You know, yeah. so, but I just love the whole process. I love the whole thing. And if it, if it's, I mean, I understand about being an extra that's hard, you know, especially like if you're in the cold, it's all day. But, you know, other than that, usually they set you up with, with a nice, you know, situation. Either you have like a room, you know what I mean? A, a trailer or something where you can just chill and just kind of yeah. read or go over your lines and just utilize that time to just, you know, work on yourself. Yeah, they gave us, work they on gave the character. My experience on that, they gave us free tacos and um, we got hey. to stay indoors during uh, the fall in the Northeast. And I don't know. Um, that's a lot better. That's, a, that's not that bad. That's a, <laughs> lot, that's a lot better. Nah, it was just so like dope to see that, you know, because like, you know, yeah. you see what, you know, you might see behind the scenes films and everything like yeah. that and what people go through, but actually experience, that was dope. To so, be on set is a whole different yeah. experience. Yeah, like, absolutely. Oh, okay, this is what it's like. Yeah, <laughs> So... <laughs> Now, nah, yo, I think a lot of women in your caliber get to ask this question because I, right, yes, you do modeling, you're an actress, you're accomplished. A dude scared to holler at you, and then like, can the average Joe shoot a shot at you? He was like, oh, you, or you could be on, you, you be on, you could, yo, feel free, cause like we encourage this over here, not you now, like pound your chest, like nah, yo, you gotta be up to holler at me. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> how does it work? You know what I mean? How like can somebody like you, like yo, I hit the red carpet? with yourself, you know what I'm saying? How does that work? There's no general answer for that. It's just a case by case, <laughs> you know? <laughs> I actually like five questions in one question, actually. <laughs> it's okay, but I still feel you. I'm still able to answer yeah. it, right? I, so, um, <laughs> I feel like I... Because, um, you know, you're about to invite a lucky listener to be able to check out the screening of the Holiday mm-hmm. Heartbreak, you know? How can they yes. um, go about doing that? Is that the Roxy? I stayed at the Roxy, too. It was dope. You know what I'm saying? It's dope, dope. It's definitely dope, you know? Yes. So. Yeah. Yeah, so what we're going to do, we're going to invite one lucky listener to be able to join us at the red carpet premiere of Holiday Heartbreak. It's the New York premiere. And um, the movie's coming out on next Wednesday, December 16th on BET, but we're also going to we're gonna air it at the premiere as well. We're going to premiere it there. Okay. And so... It's a very exclusive event. <laughs> there are very few people, especially because of COVID. Oh, we yeah. can only have a few Definitely. guests. Yeah. So, um, so you know, a lot of people are gonna want to come to this, but are not able to come. So it's it's uh it's a big ticket item. It's a big and there's deal, gonna be man. a red carpet and press and everything there. And then after that, we're going to screen the film. Mm. Yeah. And the Roxy, the Roxy is it's a gorgeous um, venue and. You know, I'm just very excited to have it. And I haven't even seen the movie yet. I had a chance, but I was like, no, I don't want to see it. I want to see it with everybody else. I I always wondered that. It's like, you know, the people (laughs) who actually partake in this project, do they actually get to see the final cut? So So, I don't know. Yeah, so you can. I mean, my manager got a copy of it, so he got to see it. And, um, you know, different people I know, they got to see the master or whatever. But, um, and then also like when you do ADR work, ADR work is like after um, like the sound, when you have to fix the sound sometimes after, like you may be able to see some of the scenes. Yeah. So, um, so yeah, you know, my co-star Kenneth, he said he saw some of it. I'm like, did they catch the part when, um, when Country Wayne fell down? Did they get his face? I didn't know if they got it. He was like, they got it. I was like, yes, okay. So, you know, yes. you can see, but I haven't seen the full film because I just wanted to, I wanted to wait until everybody saw it and see it with everybody. Nah, I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing it, you know. I'll- you know, Miss Renee, much love. I'm going to be in the yes. building. Uh, <laughs> yes, <laughs> yes. Yeah, yeah. So, um, oh, but in addition, I want to say, too, that in addition to the uh, the premiere that we're having, we're mm-hmm. also going to have a live, a Facebook live of the event. And then we're all going to, like, watch it together. So people will be able to just see virtually, you know, what's going on there and see the red carpet and see all the shenanigans. Yeah. And then they'll be able to watch it with us, too, if they want. So we, we're going to have a watch party as well. 
Yeah, so. like all the downsides of social media. One thing I think that's kind of dope about social media, you could watch it like an event as a family. Everybody yes. chimes in, mm-hmm. get their opinions, you know, about yes. spec and fall. So that's actually dope. So yeah, mm-hmm. definitely. So um, you know, I'm sure this is gonna take off. And um, after this, where do you see yourself going afterwards? You know, your next chapter. Oh, more movies, more films, more big ads. Like okay. I just see it like yeah. taking off, soaring. Yep. I'm so excited about next year. I know that, you know, things are challenging. You know, they need to figure some things out as far as like COVID and testing and stuff. And I've had a few projects that were canceled because of it. Mm-hmm. But in 2021, I just, I feel excited about the new president that we have. I feel excited oh, about, yeah. uh, you know, hopefully. I, I, I won't go to politics. Like, just, I just feel yeah, like, yo, whatever, different- whatever you think, oh, I'm sorry, cut you over. Whatever you feel about Biden and Trump, I just feel like Obama said it the best. It, it, it feel like, a, a weight off your shoulders when you don't got to think about the person oh every day. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You got to think about the guy Literally, every day. the air, the air just yeah. felt clearer that day, you yeah. know, when they were just like, okay, he's going to be out. Yeah. But we're not going to get into politics. Yeah, I know, I know, I know. But, um, <laughs> it was, no, but I so, yeah. no, I just, I see, uh, I see that everything that was destined to happen is going to happen, mm-hmm. you know, and um, I'm just very excited. I'm working on producing my own show. Um, really? Oh wow! I already started so shooting. That. Yeah, yeah. It's a project that um, that I'm working. I've been working on it for a while, but you know, I've been so busy with other stuff that I'm like, I need to. You yep. know how your own stuff just kind of gets pushed to the side. Mm-hmm. But we did finish shooting the first episode, and um, you know, hopefully, we'll shoot more soon. I'm working with a very talented writer in California who you know writes the scripts and stuff like that, and mm-hmm. um, it's just a fun project, a personal project that you know I just wanted to do. So, you know, hey, do, stay hey, tuned do you want to detail that. that though? Do, oh, you keep it on the wraps or do you want to detail? I'm keeping that? on the wraps. Uh, I hear that. And then I'm gonna, I'm gonna come back when it, Oh yeah, no, we love that back. And hopefully yeah, when yeah. they get get back to normal, like we got a whole bunch yeah. of scent. We got a whole bunch of uh, lights on, sanitizer stuff over here. Oh, perfect. Perfect. Cause I was looking oh, yeah. for that. Yep. <laughs> like it's yeah. crazy. Like when I talk, I spray like, yo, what's up? <laughs> 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 like <laughs> you know what I'm but yeah, so now nah, I'm just saying we we clean over here, you know what I'm saying? So, yes, okay. okay. Uh, whenever I mean, you know I mean, you feel comfortable to take a trip out to CT, you know what I'm saying? Okay, okay. You're more than welcome, good. absolutely. You know, we need. Thank you, I dope. appreciate that. Yeah, yeah. So, um, yeah. but I was gonna say too, I have another film called Bet on Ben. I'm doing ADR work for it now. It's um, yeah. it's coming out. I think early next year. Mm-hmm. So look out for that. But yeah. um, but the main thing is I'm just so excited about Holiday Heartbreak. That's coming on yeah. next week. Yeah, highly anticipated, great cast, BET, yeah. you know, and the crazy thing is, uh, like, all, it's, like, the biggest black network, you know, that's out, period, absolutely. Yeah. and it's such a historic channel, no, it's a and I'm deal. just, it's a huge deal, and, you know, I just, I've yeah. always loved and respected BET, so, like, to be a part of that is amazing, yeah. my first lead role, because of this caliber is, is what was like, here, what was so. that, like, your first lead role, and then you on BET? Oh, my gosh, oh, my gosh. What was unreal. that like? Unreal. You talk about dream roles. You talk about, yeah. you know, um, things that are, like, going to launch your career or just, you know, take you to a new level. And I just feel really, like, honored and humbled by, you know, you being chosen for this and, you know, by them believing in me that I could do it. So, you know, I'm just excited to show. And then Charles, too, he really pulled that performance out of me. You know, mm-hmm. he really... Um, well, you know, hopefully he didn't have to pull that hard, but you know, yeah. he encouraged me <laughs> to be like, you know, that what you just did, do that again. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So, um, yeah, we worked great together, and um, I'm just excited for people to see it. Mm-hmm. I could keep asking you questions all day, and I'm, I'm gonna wrap it up in a minute. I know you probably okay. got nah, but um, I asked a lot like, we interview, you know, we're hip hop stages, so we interview a lot mm-hmm. of rappers and singers, and I asked them the top five DOA, top five dead or alive, you know, in your field, what's your top five of all time? Oh my gosh, that's so hard. Take your time. We Top good. five. Yeah. Um. Hmm. Oh my gosh. Dead or alive. Mm-hmm. Um. Okay. As far as modeling. Or oh, both. Just you know who's in that that you know that pocket that you're in that's rare for a lot of people. You know modeling. Okay. So as an actor. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. So if I'll start with as a model, Iman. Iman. Yep. I think, and um, as a hmm, okay, so Leonardo DiCaprio, nobody can ever Leonardo DiCaprio. 
Nobody. Yo, I love. I, yo, his, oh my um, gosh. His performance on um, what's the what's the stockbroker movie? Every um, movie. Every the, movie. Uh, what do you call it? <laughs> about Wall Street, The Wolf of Wall Street. Was Wolf that of Wall Street. That's one of my favorite movies. It's just mad oh long. I only watch like it's like four hours. So yeah. It doesn't but, matter. Yeah, his performance. So, he could just give one expression, one look. Yeah. And it's just like wow. Mm -hmm. yeah. Angela Bassett is a beautiful actor. And she's still bad. Um, yeah. Oh my gosh. Beautiful, talented. You know, there's the obvious Viola Davis, you know. Um, you know who I love too, because you asked about dream roles. I love, um, a lot of people may not know this, but I love action. I love like kickboxing and, um, you know, just like fighting, fight choreography, stuff like that. You know, he's fighting real life like, though. He's fighting real life though. I don't know. When, when, I, when I have to, when I have to. No, I'm just joking. I used to fight a lot when I was a kid. I really? fought a lot of boys when growing up. I've never fought a girl though. I've only fought boys growing so up. You I fought number fight. dudes? Mm -hmm. That's crazy, yo. I was a tomboy. I was a kid. You know, I, was, I used to catch snakes and frogs and lizards, and I was a big oh, tomboy. Okay. Yeah. Right. So I used to fight the hey, boys. Hey, all right. So what, what was your win percentage fighting these dudes though? Like, how many you beat though? <laughs> oh, a lot. I have so many that I just like. So you got oh. so you got a winning record. Like everybody from the whole town, <laughs> I took an L to her. That's another L. <laughs> <laughs> They don't want to come for me. But, uh, <laughs> I know, respect but I was going to say, a dream yeah. role, you know, like, you remember that movie Salt um, with Angelina Jolie where she was just like... I've heard of it, but I'm sorry. I ain't never watched yeah. it. No, it's okay. But just any yeah. movie, like, you know, most of the movies of Angelina Jolie, I love her. Like, all the oh, yeah, movies yeah. that she's done where she just plays, like, this bad chick who gets to fight and, like, you know, know yeah. how to use guns. And I don't know. I just love that. You know, yeah. I want to be able to do action. Action yeah, and, and sci-fi. So that would be a dream role. But um set top five that are alive. Yeah, I think we okay, had three. We're gonna go with, yeah. I had okay, so Naomi Campbell is one also. Well, I, would I think you said Iman, one. and I think you said Yeah, Iman's number one. I thought you said full um, uh Bassett and um Viola Davis uh Viola Davis. But, okay, so I know Leonardo DiCaprio. Okay. Um that's like five right there. Yeah. But I'm gonna go with De no, no, keep Denzel going. You, you, you push up the ten. De you gotta put Denzel. Yeah. Ethan Hawke. I love Ethan Hawke. Um, who else? There's so many. There's so many. You know, I just watch Meryl Streep, mm -hmm. who becomes the character. You yeah. know what I mean? It's not even her anymore, mm -hmm. you know, when she when she gets a script. So that's like a whole other level of it. Because um, it's like, <laughs> the first part about acting is like, do you have the look and can you pull it off? That's mm -hmm. the first thing. But then it's like, then there's a whole other level. It's like, yeah. Where you become this person and you embody this person. So, 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 so these jewels you dropping right now on our listeners, um, did you learn that in a class or this is all like intuitive? You know what I mean? You just naturally got that. You know what I mean? Like, um, you have any mentors? Just, different experiences, I think. They just teach you that, like, okay. And I, you know, we learn something every single day. And the more you're on set, the more you learn, the more you observe and really pay attention and listen and watch. You know, it's just like, wow. You yeah. know, you just learn a lot. So I just learned as I go. And I just kind of wing it. <laughs> hey, hey, you, you winging it. You about to be on BT to lead roles. Hey. So, <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> it's great. Get, oh, give everybody your social media. You know what I mean? So everybody check yeah, you sure. on point with what you got going on. Yeah, so my Instagram is Miriam Basir. And then it's just underscore after that. So M-A-R-Y-A-M. Yeah. Thank yeah. you. Yeah. Miriam, M-A-R-Y-A-M. And then Basir is B-A-S-I-R. And then underscore. Mm -hmm. You can find everything you need to know on Instagram. Cause all my links are up there. So, hey, so um, yeah. any any free game you want to give out to anybody listening that want to be the next you, or you know, what I mean, who actually want to be in your realm real quick before we wrap it up. I would just like to say that you have to believe in yourself. Wait, where's the camera? You have to believe in yourself. You have to believe in yourself. Mm -hmm. You have to believe in yourself because you know, you know in your heart and your mind what you want to do and what you can do. Only you can discourage yourself and only you can encourage yourself. You may have people who come in and out who say things, you know, that throw you off. Mm -hmm. But the thing that I had to remember that I still remember every single day is that life throws you a lot of bones, right? So as long as you stay on the path and don't give up and believe in yourself, you're going to get to your destination. You're going to get there. You know, you may have some, you know, let's just say you're walking all the way from like, in New York we're in New York right so like the Bronx to Brooklyn and you're walking there you know what I mean it might take you I don't know how long it would take but you know maybe you might stop and take a rest you might you know 
go to, you know, take a little nap. You might stop to get some food, but then you get back up and you get back on that path. At some point, you're going to make it to your destination. So it's the same thing with life. You know, you just, you're going to have some things that throw you off, that take you off the path, but just get back on the path. Don't forget your dreams. You know, don't live that life where you just have, have regret that you didn't do what you really wanted to do. Yeah. So if you really want to act, act, you know, do it. Cool. You should be a motivational speaker too, yo. You, you, oh my you check, gosh. You're checking all the boxes right now. You're checking all the boxes. <laughs> <laughs> but, so all right, all right, but all right, one more thing before we wrap it up is just, you know, again, you know, holiday heartbreak, you know, let everybody know mm -hmm. when it's going to be on. And Holiday heartbreak yeah. is coming to BET on December 16th at 6 o'clock p.m. So Wednesday, December 16th, 6 p.m. on BET. You got to make sure you tune in, you guys. It's going to be a great one. It's a holiday classic. Yes, indeed. And um, again, America, you know, you might be able to pull up to the screening, you know. So yes. stay tuned, you heard? Come hang out with me. Yeah, come hang out with me at the screening. That would be awesome. Yeah, that would yeah. be great. So now, uh, thank you again. Now, to now, we about to sign off. And it's like that. Thank you. Out. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Thanks for having me, Mike. Yeah. No, thank you. All right, so we, we, we're done. We're done. We're done. We're done. Um, okay. okay. But no, nah, no, nah, you're great. Yeah, if you I mean like,